everyone, my name as always is Chaos in the Sky, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. I love this game so much, I just couldn't stay away, so you know what, we're gonna be doing an NG+. Uh, I finished this playthrough back when the game first came out last year, and also Lucius Starfire, thank you so much for subbing with Prime for three months, greatly appreciated. But, uh... Yeah, so I finished this game back when it came back. It was May last year, wasn't it? I believe, chat, May of 2020 is when this game came out, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, we finished the playthrough back then when it came out, and we did Future Connected. And I said that I loved the game so much, because it's always been a favorite, it's always been one of my absolute favorites, that I definitely wanted to do an NG Plus playthrough. So here we are with NG Plus. We're going to be doing an NG Plus playthrough of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Uh, I want to go ahead and give a warning for anyone watching this on Twitch or YouTube. This is an NG+. I already did my first playthrough of the game where I didn't spoil anything during it. I played the original version of this game when it came out back in like 2010. So when I did my first playthrough of Definitive Edition, I was careful not to spoil stuff that happens later in the game for newcomers to the series and whatnot. Uh, since this is an NG+, I'm not going to do that because I already did that playthrough and now we're playing the game a second time. So... Oh, there's no holds barred. I'm gonna, like, talk about whatever I want to throughout the entire game. I might spoil the ending of the game literally in the first 30 minutes if I want to talk about it. So, that there's your one warning if you're watching this right now and you've never seen this before and you want to experience the story and whatnot. Go play the game yourself or watch my first playthrough on my... All the parts are on my YouTube channel. It's like a 300-part series. So, there's there's your one warning. You, you've been warned. Also, chat, please let me know if the game audio is a little too loud. I did a quick test before stream, and I thought it sounded fine, but it's looking a little loud on Streamlabs. But, uh... Ah, no! No, I was about to hit New Game Plus! Come back! Michael, what's up, man? Thanks so much for subbing with Prime for 15 months. It's because Michael showed up that I wasn't able to hit New Game Plus in time. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna hit New Game Plus, and we're gonna, in we're gonna get into it. So... That's the save file from before NG+. I believe this was my final save file. Yeah, it's got the most time on it. So we're gonna load this one. Carry over a part of this data to start a new game. Let's go. Let's get it. By the way, even though this is an NG+, I love this game. I love its characters and story. I'm still gonna, like, watch all the cutscenes. We're not gonna be skipping cutscenes. We're gonna, like, play through the game again legitimately, which means I'm gonna be quiet right now. Long ago, the world was nothing more than an endless sea, cloaked in a boundless sky, reaching as far as could possibly be imagined. Then two great titans came into existence. I know the Maconus's arm. We'll never see that ever again in this game. were locked in a timeless battle until it was no longer timeless until at last only their lifeless corpses remained eons have passed now our world this vast land stretching across the remains of the Bionis is under attack from a relentless force known as the Mechon. Show me best boy. Oh, well, that cheering didn't last long. Nicely, he might have left you alone. Retreat! 
Oh, it's time! Oh, he's actually wearing the clothes that I had him in at the end of- Oh, let's go! He's already wearing the best outfit. Let's go! They're advancing down our weak right flank. For a bunch of soulless machines, they seem to know a thing or two. But we'll see. to retreat we're pulling back the line to colony six that's where we'll set up the last line of defense yeah that's a good idea any more time spent hanging around here and we're done for count me in we gotta get out of here or we can stay and fight what ah. we uh. may die if we take a stand here but staying gives us the chance to change our destinies we have the monado with this the future is ours for the taking. Stupid beast. Your body can't take any more of the Monado. I can tell by just looking at you. Getting short-sighted in your old age, Dixon. I'm fine. Don't worry, I'm still in control. Hmm. I should have known I couldn't talk sense into a beast. Let's do this. I'm going with you. You'll need someone to drag your corpse off. As long as you think you've still got the strength in you, old man. Boy, you two. We've been ordered to pull back. I'm leaving. Well, I say you're coming with us. What would we do without those? <sighs> His the mech on body? Wave is approaching. It's now or never, Dunban. Let's show them what we've got. We'll give them a warm Homs welcome. Acknowledged. Yeah. Huh. What are they trying to prove? I'm not throwing my life away. No point dying in some godforsaken field. Nothing for it. I'll have to use Dunban as a decoy. Yeah, that should give me time to escape. <laughs> I can't believe that they've already got... They just put Mumkar in his, uh, his Mechon outfit. Oh, I'm level 99 as well, so this is going to go super fast. I didn't know if levels would carry over in NG Plus or not, but... Lo and behold, they definitely do. So we're just gonna tear through this. I'm not even using the Monado, I'm using my sword. I've never NG plused this game, for the record. Like, even back when I played it when I was younger, I never did an NG plus. Whenever I wanted to play the game again, I would just do a normal new game. So, I didn't know what to expect. I love that Mumkar's already in his Mechon outfit, though. Imagine if Dixon was already in his giant form. Am I right? That'd be hilarious. Uh, goodbye. You've got to be kidding. It's their main force. Looks like the Mechon are hell-bent on taking us out. They'll have to be if they want to beat us. Now, let's even the odds a bit. You heard him. Dixon, Munka, let's do this. Ah! Mumkar, just summon Metal Face. It'll give us an advantage. I didn't think we'd still be at level 99, by the way. I thought that we'd start, the game would start us back at low levels, but we'd like keep all of our weapons and stuff. So I'll probably end up using expert mode to level back down so that we don't just blow through the game. Dixon coming in clutch. You right? Oh, what does it look like? I'm still good to go. <laughs> Guess even a hero's got to reach his limit eventually. Monka, what are you doing? That way is... Sorry, brothers. Hate to drop this on you, but it's the Monado they're after. So have fun keeping them occupied for me. I'm getting the hell out of here. Monka, you dirty... Now, don't worry. I'll organize your funerals. <laughs> well, see you, boys. Wait. Huh? Ah! Oh. For the if record, this is a joke. It ain't funny. For the record, like this, is it. this track playing At right now. You know, our luck can't get any worse from here. Is one of my favorites. Dumbass. 
Decent. Take care of the survivors. Dumbbag, what are you playing at? <sighs> Those idiots. I'll just come and get the Monado when everything's quiet down a bit. That thing's gonna be mine! <laughs> The Hobbs, the people of Bionis, are just waiting here for you to pick us off. You are sorely mistaken. Yeah, so that track that was playing right there is called Prologue B. Look it up on YouTube and just listen to Prologue B. It is such a good track. It's one of my favorites. I'll probably end up talking a bit more, like, during cutscenes. I'm not going to be as worried about accidentally talking over dialogue, because, first of all, there are subtitles. And second of all, this is an NG+. So, like, I was silent through cutscenes in the first playthrough, so if you're really worried about, like, oh, I just want to see the story and all, you should watch the first playthrough. Again, I, I can't stress that enough. Uh, we're going to watch all the cutscenes, but I might end up, like, I might be a little more like, oh, I want to make a joke in this moment, even if I talk over someone. I'll be a little more willing to do that since this is an NG+. Plus. A mech on M71. I bet I can use its optical system to align one of the anti-air batteries. Oh, no good. It's broken. The joint section. <laughs> Did he choke? Buckled. Don't mind me, just holding the Monado 3 here. It's completely useless. Huh? An M sixty nine. Nice. <sighs> its armor would be perfect for making a shield. If I can just. I should be able to... Shulk! It's Rhine time! Rhine! It's not a mechon. It's just a crabble. It was using the mechon armor as a shell. I'll lure it away and top it. When it's down, use your arts to finish it off. Rhine, I have the Monado 3. I don't think we need to topple it. I have a feeling. <laughs> Let's, not lose our heads, Let's not use our heads, though. Let's not lose our heads. Oh no, it's a caterpillar! Whatever will we do, Ryan? Whatever will we do? <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. That was a close one. Man, what were you doing wandering off by yourself? Stay where I can keep an eye on you. You would have been doomed to die to that crabble if it weren't for Ryan. It's pretty dangerous outside of the colony. There are all kinds of monsters. Yeah. But thanks to you, we got its shell. Everyone in the colony is going to be really happy. I'm more worried about you than the shell. No, oh, whatever. Knowing what you're like, at least you'll make a decent weapon out of it. This scrap driver's excellent. I just learned by watching Dixon make weapons. <laughs> this scrap driver, he says about like a late game high level weapon. Of course, Dunban's weapon still beats them all. The Monado. <laughs> yeah, the Monado. Where would we ever find ourselves one of those? I hope I can figure out the secret of his power one day. You will, Shulk. Anyway, we better get back to the colony. If I'm late for drills again, old Square Tash is gonna kill me. Square Tash? Oh, the Defense Force Colonel. Tell me about it. Oh, whoops. I double tapped A. That's my bad. By the way, a lot of people talking in chat right now. I am reading chat. I see people asking questions and all that. I'm, I've got to get through, like, the early game tutorial section so that we don't have just constant dialogue, and then I'll start interacting with chat more and uh, answering your questions and reading everything. So I, I'm not ignoring you, chat, but there's just there's a lot going on, and I don't want to sit on one screen for, like, 30 minutes as I respond to everyone. Sorry, I didn't mean for you to come all the way out here during your break. Don't worry about it. Let's get back. Alright then. 
Uh, so, I, I gotta figure out how we're gonna do this. First of all, I saw some people asking, are you gonna do every single... Is my affinity still max with everyone? Can't view that one yet anyways. I thought that was a Ryan and Shulk one, but it's not. Um... Is there, I gotta remember, like, what buttons to press as well. So, wait a minute. What all... Has literally everything been carried over? We've still got our maxed out skill trees. Ryan never got his last one done, but he will soon. Can't do skill links yet. That's understandable. I know that our affinity coin count carries over. So that's good. Arts, I assume. Yep, our arts still carry over at the same levels that they were at. Alright. Not bad, not bad. So that's very good. We can work on trying to max out the rest of them. Or max out the ones I don't even use. I never got the level 10 or 12 book for Aura Burst. That's surprising. Alright, alright. What about my Monado arts? Oh, did I actually manage to max all these? I did. Wow. That's surprising. Uh, so I don't want to play the game where we just, like, one-shot- Ryan, how are you gonna have 9,991 HP? You kidding me right now? You couldn't get eight more HP, dude? Seriously? Yeah, this is the Future Connected. This is the black version of the Future Connected outfit that I have on Shulk right now, Michael. Yeah. Uh, how do you access Expert Mode? Can I not access Expert Mode yet? So I don't want to play through the game where we're just level 99 and we kill literally everything until we get to, like, the very end of the game. This is how you get to expert mode. It's disabled right now, so I can't do anything with it. When we have access to expert mode, I'm probably going to bring the levels back down to around where they should be, like, game-wise. Because I don't want to just, like, one-shot every enemy we come across. We'll probably still, like... Obviously, I'm going to use the Monado 3. It would be foolish not to. And we'll probably still use, like, higher level weapons and stuff. Like, we're going to be stronger than we were in the main game. Because I knew game plus. But uh, I'll lower our levels back down so that we don't just blow through everything we come across. Pretty much. You can just turn it on. Is it not on? Oh, because it's set to off. Ah, oh, there we go. So then, like... Oh my goodness, look at all that experience. Just go to, like, level 5 for now. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to work this out in the long run. But we'll we'll see what happens. Just, I'm going to bring everyone down to level 5 for a little bit. And we'll, uh, work on it as we go. And kind of do what we think is a good balance for how we want to play the game and whatnot. I do want to change Ryan's outfit because it does not fit with, like, the area of the game we're in at all. It took off all my gems. Did gems not carry over? No, I still got all my gems. They just got unequipped, apparently. Let's, uh, give him the old classic scrap driver. Let's switch you to an outfit that isn't just, uh, clearly super late game. Yeah, let's just make, let's just make Ryan naked. There's a good idea. Do, do. Let's go with that, and I can probably just do the full colony type 2 look for now, if I like it. Well, I don't like the shoes. You need, like, full-on boots, my dude, not whatever it is you're wearing there. Look, Ryan, I don't want to be weird about it, but I don't want to see your knees, okay? Can, can you just, like, wear something that hides your knees, please? I mean, that, that kind of hides your knees, but not quite as much as I wanted it to. But we'll, we'll go with that. That actually looks pretty good. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's do that for now. And then, honestly, I think Shulk is probably good in his, uh, in his Dark Future Connected outfit, to be real with you. With the Monado 3 hanging on his back. I'm not going to worry about equipping uh, gyms or actually changing equipment right now. We're just going to leave those as is for the moment. And just kind of, we want to, I want to get a little bit into the game to uh, work out other stuff. I am planning to do most, if not all, of the side quests again. The difference this time is that I probably won't read the dialogue of the side quests unless it's a side quest that I remember really liking and I want to read the dialogue for it. Hey, it's Colony 9. I've never seen this place before. But yes, I am planning on doing most, if not all, of the side quests again. I am also planning on trying to get all of the in-game achievements. Because I think we got almost all of them last time anyway. Here we are. I better stop in at HQ. You off to the weapon development lab? Yeah, when I've sold any parts I can't use. Alright, see you later. Peace out, brother. <laughs> 